What's up, guys? It's me, your badass, as you're and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Walkthrough. Okay, so, in our last episode, we have received our third badge. I was about to say fourth. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Look at that. Three badges in all. And now we're unable to use the fly technique. Unfortunately, well, we don't have the fly technique. It's kind of lame. Kind of sucks. But... After, you know, defeating uh, Mei Lin, the gym leader, our girlfriend Dawn was in a panic because I guess Team Galactic was picking on her. Now, we all know what happens when you pick on Draven's girlfriend. We all know. He gets a little, uh, he gets a little mad. Now, who is this guy? Oh, yeah, the, the meteorites and all that stuff. Okay, so, first is first. Let's go ahead and switch out Pokemon right here because, uh, well, we had a, quite a good battle in the last one. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and use Electrostar. Been meaning to use this guy for quite some time. And you know what? Let's go ahead and have him walk with us, or her walk with us. Alrighty. Alright, who's messing with my girlfriend? You're trying to get the Pokedex back from us? Not when we? Team Galactic can make so much uh, better use of it. But okay, guarding the warehouse does get boring. We'll take you on two on two. Okay. Hi, Draven. Please, can you help me? I dropped my Pokedex by accident, and the Team Galactic found it. Now they won't give it back! Please, I need your help. Team up and battle with me. Whatever you say, baby. You and your Pokemon together with me and my Pokemon. United like this, our Dream Team has no chance of losing. I'm not letting Team Galactic get away with this. Oh, look at that. I really do like it when she talks mean. It's really hot. It really is. Okay, so here we go, going up against Team Galactic Runs right here. And they're going to be coming out with a Beautifly and Dust Toxin. Well, as you can see, we have Clefairy and Electrostar right here. And, yes, we're going to intimidate both of them. And you know what? There is something else that I've noticed about these two Pokemon. They're Flying-type Pokemon, which we all know. <laughs> we're going to Thunderbolt them. Yes, I did teach Electrostar Thunderbolt, so... Yes, we're going to make... Oh, crud. Wasn't that strong? Holy crap. Well, that backfired. <laughs> that really did backfire, and here comes, oh jeebus, they're really picking Uncle Fairy right now. The, yeah, the, these guys are not messing around. Really? Growl? Come on, Don. <laughs> Don't embarrass me. Don't embarrass me. Don't embarrass me in front of everybody. <laughs> okay, let's go right ahead and use Thunderbolt on the other one, Beautifly. And so here we go, Thunderbolt. And that takes care of Beautifly. How's it feel to fail? He doesn't. It doesn't feel so good. Okay, an Electrostar grows to level 32, which is no, it was always fine. And here comes a Venoshock, and that right there hits me pretty good. And luckily for us, we did not, yeah, we did not get poisoned. And here comes a Life Dew, and I believe that will heal Clefairy and me, probably? I don't know. Yes, it will heal me. Okay, so she's not embarrassing me. Okay, that's cool. That's awesome. Let's go. Oh, wow. Seriously, Stunky? I hate that Pokemon. I really do hate that Pokemon, so let's go right ahead and use another Thunderbolt and let's finish this guy off right here. Thunderbolt for the win. Say goodbye to Duck Socks. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Look at that. And, yes, we are increasing levels. And Hydra's our weakest Pokemon, yet, yeah, yeah, it's pretty strong right there. And, good God, I hate, I, I really do hate Stunky. Now, it would seem that... Yeah, like, it would seem that we're we're the ones attacking while she's healing us. Uh, you know, Don, you could just hit this Pokemon. I mean, we kind of... Oh, seriously? Okay, so we got a Krogonk right here. Yeah, yeah, we, 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 we need a double attack right here. So, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and use Thunderbolt and, uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's go ahead and switch out Pokemon right here. Uh, Pennywise, it's just got, it got messed up. So, let's go right ahead, and you know what? Let's go with Hydra. Hydra's been aching to battle, and yes, there is a move that it does have that will come in handy. Just hopefully, um, you don't get pounded you know, to the ground like many of the Pokemon. And yes, we got Intimidate, so you guys won't... Yeah, you guys won't hurt us as bad. Yeah, buddy. Okay, and here comes a Bite Attack, and not very effective. Well, 9 HP, yes, we, we still survive. Yeah, buddy. And, well, oh wow, finally, you're attacking. But it's not, it's not the most, uh, yeah, it's not the most powerful attack. So, let's go with a bulldoze attack to hurt everybody right here. Yes. That's what we needed. And, sorry, Don. Yeah, the, the speed has fallen, but both Pokemon 
on the opposite end have been defeated. And, well, Krogon 2. Look at that. We're, we're, we're increasing experience points. Look at that. And his Shell Bell is working its magic. And, yes, we have defeated the Team Galactic Grunts right here. And he's like, done by one kid? I should have kept my head down and just watched over the warehouse. You probably should have. Oh, that stinks. Our Pokemon are weak. We should get new ones from the headquarters. <laughs> Who cares about the Sun Pokedex anyways? Team Galactic is going to own all Pokemon in the world. No, in the universe. There, take it. Take your Pokedex. Okay. All right. Okay. Those things that we had in the warehouse have already been moved to Pastoria City anyway, so we'll say you'll get yours and run like the grunts we are. Okay. See, that's what bullies do. They just run away. So Don here is like, what's going on? Why is Team Galactic out on the streets like they own the place? Draven, thank you sincerely. If Professor Rowan ever finds out that I lost my Pokedex, oh, I don't want to think about it. So Draven, what are you going to do now? I'm thinking of going to Pastoria City. The Great Marsh is there. Uh, is uh, the Great Marsh there is home to many kinds of Pokemon? Uh, are you gonna give me anything? You know, uh, goodbye, kids. You're... No, okay, she's not gonna give you anything. All right, let's go right ahead and take a look at this warehouse right here. And uh, well, let's see. We're taking a look at this, and well, let's see. Let's grab this little sucker right here. This Pokeball. We found ourselves the TM94 Fly. And this will actually go into our app right here. Yes, sir. Okay, so now we can fly anywhere. Holy crud. Whoa, whoa. What do we have here? You are not Team Galactic, and you're a little kid to boot. Those things we made in the energy we took from the Valley Woodworks already in uh, Pastoria City. Huh. That's not what it's, uh, this is about? No, not really. Okay, so we got the fly technique, and we are enabled to fly anywhere. Holy crud, guys. Holy crud. Okay. Let's go right ahead and not do that. Okay. Let's go back to seven. And there's a counter. Okay. Whew. Okay. So the next thing that we have to do is go to Pastoria City. And, well, let's go right ahead and take a look at the town map where Pastoria City is. Okay. So as you can see, there are two ways of getting to Pastoria City. One through Heart Home and one through where we're at right now in Viles or Veilstone. Now... Either way you go about it, it's going to be long and arduous, guys. So what we're going to do is, I kind of want to fly. Let's see. I'm I'm thinking right now. Are there or is there anything that I can? Uh, is there anything that I have missed that I could fly and go get it? Oh, you know what? Two things. Two places. Let's go to Salacion Town first because I just realized a little something, something. Else, okay. So look at that. The raptor is flying us all the way over there. And we are back at Salacion Town. Now, there is something that I forgot to get right here. Uh, I do believe that you get a Pokemon egg from this individual, right? So, let's see. Let's talk to this lady. I'm the nursing lady. Take care of the two Pokemon. Would you like to care? No, actually, that won't be until later on. Holy crud. Okay, never mind. Or, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, no, there's nobody here. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay, so let's see. Uh, how about this lady? Lost Tower. How about here? No. Veilstone Pastoria. And how about here? No. Okay. Oh, huh. Yeah, we got the uh, history tech app. Never mind. So we get that. Okay, so actually, hold on. There's one more person that we can talk to. Grew up in a nursery. Okay. So let's go ahead and fly to the next location that I uh, that I've been meaning to go to. So let's go ahead and click pick that fly, and that no next location. Let's see if I can remember. Or bird. Oh yes, let's go straight back to Jubilife City because now that we've gotten our third badge, we can actually get another Poketech app, and that's always nice to have. So let's go right ahead and no, not go in there. Good gravy. Come on, go down. Okay, all right. Okay, here we go. So here we are back in Jubilife, and we got to meet the president, the guy that makes the Poketech apps. That way we can actually get some more stuff, all right? So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Hi, hi, I'm the president of the Poketech app. Your patience is rewarded. I developed a new Poketech app, and we got ourselves a marking map Poketech. 
So this thing right here allows a placement of markers. Having a map constantly displayed is convenient. No, you can also mark things so it's much more useful. And... Yeah, he doesn't give anything else. So we're going to have to wait a little longer for another Poke Tech act right there. So that is pretty much it that we what we need to do to fly. And I kind of need to... Actually, what am I doing? Okay, let's go. There we go. All right, so what I'm thinking of doing is I'm actually going to be going through Heart Home City. I wonder if I can. Because there are a lot more things down there than there are where, you know, where we were. So let's go right ahead and take our trip right here. So here we are at Heart Home City. And let's go down to this exit right here. Let's see. All right, if you talk to this guy, talking about the contest, talk to this girl, nursery, if you leave a male and a female, an egg might be found. Okay, that's cool. Still looking for an egg or something. I don't know. Okay, so here we are in Route 212, and yes, there will be a lot of Pokemon that you'll, or Pokemon trainers that you'll uh, actually find around here. And to me, this is more of like the entrance to get to, to the next place. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up and down this whole area. There is a mansion right here that we're going to be exploring. And then from there, we're just going to just uh, make it to the Great Marsh, I think. And the great thing about this is it's daytime, so we don't have to deal with the police officers right here. That's always nice. And uh, there are items right there that we can actually get. And, wow, I should have waited for this lady to just, like, you know, turn into a double battle. It's ridiculous. Okay. So here we go, taking on Gentleman Jeremy. That looked like a female, to be quite honest. It really did. Alright, so here we go. Take it on Chatot. Chatot. And... Well, let's go right ahead and... Well, make, make, uh, make peace with the Chatot right here. Chatot. Chatot. And there we go. Chatot has been defeated. And... Well, let's see. There we go. Experience points all the way up right there. And to me, you know what? To me, it's looking like my team, my Pokemon team is actually doing pretty well right here. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and switch it out. I am planning on switching out some other Pokemon right here. Uh, I don't know. I'm not trying to get too comfortable with these guys. There are other Pokemon that I can actually find. Uh, I kind of want to say by the 25th episode. Yes, 25th episode, I will actually... I can, make my decision on trying to pick out some other Pokemon right here because we only got three badges down. We got plenty more. That way we can actually take care of business. Uh, keep the comments coming, guys. Tell me what other Pokemon you can actually find in this area. Now, there, are, there is a Pokemon that, that I've been wanting to get, but I kind of don't want to because, well, you know, the thing is, we've used it quite a few times. Kind of like the ones that we have right here. And... It's looking like I, I can actually make different teams in this game right here, uh, if I just train hard enough and all that. And uh, look at that, Inferno Mon just uh, increasing levels like crazy now. There was There is one thing that I kind of wish that they would have incorporated right here in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond is that, you know, the Pokemon jobs. Would have been so much simpler to raise all your Pokemon right here. And well, here we have Aspir Berries. And here we have uh, two Citrus Berries. So you can't go wrong with any kind of berries here. And, well, let's see. Let's take that out. That way it won't be a, such a convenience. And uh, I believe there's an item around here somewhere. There's always an item. I don't know. Oh, there is an item right there, which we can actually cut through. So let's go ahead and use that. Thank you, Bidoof, our lord and savior, Bidoof. And, well, let's go ahead and grab that. We have ourselves a TM-11 Sunny Day. And, well, let's see. Are there anything... Is there anything else? No, there's nothing else right there. We can surf there, but we don't have a surf technique just yet. So, let's go right ahead and move on. Let's see. There, oh, yeah. And look at that. Sunny or... Yeah, our good old buddy. Yeah, <laughs> Electrostar is just looking at me. It actually had a berry for me. Now, what happens if you talk to this kid? The owner at Amity Square also owns the Pokemon Mansion. Really? Okay, so this is going to be our very first visit, the Pokemon Mansion, or the Amity Square. And there are security right here, and there are quite a few people that you can actually battle. Just two people. So let's go ahead and just do that, battle the people. The rich people. 
We need some more monies. That way we can buy some more TMs. And that way we can actually rule the world right here. So here we go. Taking on Melissa and Jason. Wow. Didn't, didn't we battle a Jason back in Emerald version? I kind of feel like we did. Okay, so here we go. Both flying type Pokemon right here. Intimidation by uh, Intimidation by uh, Gyarados and Intimidation and wow, the Intimidation show right here. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. So, let's see. Let's go with the Psychic on this guy. Let's go with a Nice Beam on that guy right there. Now, I could have used Bulldoze. Yeah, I should have used Bulldoze. Good gravy. Alright, well, it's, uh, no, it, that doesn't mean anything else because, you know, Psychic Attack just destroy this guy. And, well, here comes an Ice Beam for the win. Look at that. And Baneri just stays put. And, well, luckily for us, the Shell Bell gives us a little bit of HP. And here comes a Pound Attack. That doesn't really hurt very much. So let's go ahead and use a Psychic Attack again. And let's go with a Crunch. We don't want to use any more Special Attacks, so let's go right ahead and use that Psychic Attack. And there goes Baneri. He has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, look at that. And... Oh, wow, Pennywise wants to learn Self-Destruct. That is not... Yeah, that's not going to happen right there. Even even if I wanted to. It's, it's, it's just... It's a very powerful attack, but it doesn't benefit the Pokemon using it because it's pretty much a suicide attack right there. Okay, so let's see. There might be a Pokeball here somewhere. Or somewhere. I don't know. Oh, I thought there was a Pokeball right here. Holy crud. There could be something. There we go. We found ourselves a Super Potion. And, well, let's go straight ahead into the Pokemon Mansion. As many of you guys already know, this place is home to the owner of the Amity Square talk to this lady. This is the way out to the Trophy Garden. The garden is open for all visitors to enjoy. However, please beware while Pokemon, Pokemon might appear in the garden. So let's go ahead and find the owner first. And if you talk to him, he's like, hello, hello, welcome to my opulent mansion. <clears throat> there, there's a lot, a lot for me to be proud of inside and outside of this home, but what makes me the most proud is my Trophy Garden in the back. Why bother traveling afar when Pokemon are attracted to my or by my garden? They come to to me. You're welcome to join them and then marvel at my garden. Now this guy right here will every day the the types of Pokemon that will come into his garden will change. Talk to him right now. He let's see. I think yeah he, he yeah he'll actually tell he'll give you hints of what Pokemon will actually come. And the butler right here is like Master actually quite enjoys uh, showing a prize garden to his strong trainers. Okay, that's cool. And just like always, we cannot touch this stone. And it is a very expo expe expensive looking uh, Pokemon book. And here we have the TM87 Swagger. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so let's see. There is nothing right here. I'm sorry, everything beyond this point is strictly off limits. Now, I'm pretty damn sure that there's still nothing there beyond that point. And so we're going to be going right here. And talking to this lady, I'm not loafing off, I'm just taking a personal break. Okay. And yes, we have found ourselves a burnt heel. Make sure to change, uh, take a look at the, take a look at the trash cans, guys. You, you'll, you'll definitely need them. And, well, let's see. Talk to this lady. You know how, how to catch the Pokemon in the trophy garden. If you put this in, on a caught Pokemon, it warms up to you faster. I'll share it with you uh, so you can give it a try. And we get ourselves a Soothe Bell. Wow, okay. So that's something that we definitely need for our good old buddy Toxic Batman. And, well, let's see. Let's go right here. And we are finding another item. And we found ourselves a Great Ball, which is nice. And there's nothing right here. Okay, so we got quite a few items. Now, if you remember this lady right here, you can actually battle like five trainers in a row. And you have to beat them in a certain amount of, uh, a certain amount of turns. Unfortunately, I don't think they do that right here anymore. So we're going to be moving on to the trophy garden to see what, what kind of Pokemon we can actually find. Obviously, there's going to be no edits and all that stuff. I'm pretty sure you can find an Eevee, Pichu, Pikachu here. And would you look at that? Pikachu. We have found a Pikachu. Holy crud. Okay, and we found a female Pikachu. So guess what? Guess what, guys? Guess what? Guess what? Take a good guess. We're catching it with a quick ball. Yeah, buddy. Okay, stay in the ball. Come on, you're quick. You're fast. You are Speedy Gonzalez. Throwing out that peace sign, guys. 
I have throwing out the peace sign. Yeah, buddy. And Electrostar has grown to level 33, which is nice. And it wants to learn Volt Switch, which is a nice move. Let's see, what is it? Yes, it's a special attack. And that explains a lot. So let's go right ahead and now let's. You know, what? I don't really don't. I really don't need the charge attack. I really don't. So let's go ahead and just switch it off right here. And there we go. Volt Switch has been changed. And here we have a female Pikachu, the Mouse Pokemon. It lives in forest with others. It stores electricity and it in its electric sacs on its cheeks. And yes, we are going to give this Pokemon a nickname. It is a female Pokemon, so yes, I cannot leave her out. Let's go right ahead and call her Aaliyah. After my baby girl, Aaliyah. And, well, let's go ahead and send her to the box. We're not going to keep her on our team, mainly because, you know, we already have an established team. But I kind of want to look what, uh, what else we can actually find in this, uh, this garden right here. Pikachu's one of them. So let's go ahead and see if there's, like, anything else. I know in Shining Pro, I think I found a chance here, so... No, I found a lot of these guys. These guys are not rare. They are not rare at all. I do not like them. Oh, my God. Okay, so let's just, uh... Let's just move on right here. Right here. And here we have a Staravia. These are not really rare Pokemon, so I think we... I think we did a good job by just finding Pikachu right there and then, so... Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, this is definitely something that we can Yeah, okay, so let me give it one more try, see if I can actually find something worthwhile. Obviously, off-screen, I'm going to find one. And, yeah, we found a Roselia, so that, yeah. Okay, so, I guess those are the three Pokemon. Okay, let me give it one more try, okay? All right, let's see what we can find. A Saravia. Never mind. Okay. So, that right there. I guess that right there. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it right there. Okay, never mind. Okay. So, let's see. What what happens if we capture some, like a Pokemon right here and, and, and we go to the owner? Does he say the same thing? I want to know. Let's see. Let's go right ahead and see what the old man says. Talk to him, Appulet Mansion, and him. There's a lot of Pokemon. Uh, okay, never mind. He says the same thing. Okay, so that is, uh, yeah, that, that, that right there is pretty much it right there. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do a little something right here, guys. We're gonna stop this episode right here because in the next, uh, well, going forward, going forward, we're gonna be seeing a lot, a lot of people right here. Plus, I kind of want to buy some uh, repels just to make sure that I don't run into any Pokemon and do heavy editing. So, again, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode where we are going to get through the whole shebang going into, uh, what was it? Pastoria City, yes. I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys again for watching. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to every single one of you guys out there. See you guys.